Uh, Steve Conroy, uh, you mentioned Jim Chalmers. So the Treasurer today said he was calling a review into our $3.3 trillion superannuation industry, including stopping people from dipping into their super earlier, as the Morrison government had allowed. Here he is. Without consultation and little consideration, Australians were forced to choose between better incomes in retirement or paying their bills. Funds were forced to liquidate assets and $36 billion of Australian retirement savings were lost. Now, Steve Conroy, what gets me is that the government doesn't want Australians to use their own super savings to, for instance, buy a house that would set them up or to save their house indeed, but it does want the power to use those same super savings to finance the pet projects of the government. The government seems to be forgetting, I think, whose money this really is. Andrew, I'm just shaking my head because I have lived this debate since 1992. I originally was a superannuation officer for the Transport Workers Union Super Fund. In 1995, a moronic backbencher in the uh, Howard then opposition uh, put forward a position that we should allow Australians to take out money for housing in 1995. They took this to the 1996 election. Peter Costello, the new Treasurer, got Treasury, a Treasury that he then owned and controlled, to produce a paper to analyse the impact of this policy. And you know what they found? It was moronic. It was moronic in 1996 when Peter Costello said it was moronic. And it's been moronic every day since. Superannuation is about providing for people's retirement. It says so in the, in the original <laughs> document, so to speak. And so every, every five years or so, some dumb op opposition uh, or coalition frontbencher or backbencher comes up with this moronic argument that Peter Costello himself demolished in 1996, 1997. It's a really simple principle. It's we called compound interest. If you, rip out, out time, if you but... rip out money at the beginning in the first few years, you wreck your future trajectory. It's as simple as compound interest. We understand compound interest. We, yeah, how it works. we understand the whole principle of superannuation. So yeah, Peter Costello was wrong? Yeah, well, uh, whoever says that people... Peter Costello was wrong. Stephen, let me put it this way. Whose money is it? This is where there's a fundamental ideological divide. Your treasurer talks about, oh, this money was ripped out of Australian savings. If it was ripped out of the government's bank or something, it's not their money. It's not owned by the super funds. It's owned by Australian men and women. And dare that Josh Frydenberg, he said during the pandemic that people who were in crisis that couldn't pay their bills, perhaps they could use some of their own money to pay their bills. What an absolute outrage. Oh, goodness me. And the people should use their own money to buy a house. This is the Labor Party from Keating onwards thinking your superannuation is not your money. The unions... Yep. The, robbing the super Peter, funds, no pun, pun no, intended, to yeah, pay Paul. Yeah, robbing, 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 robbing Peter, Peter to pay to Paul, pay Paul Keating. Keating. That's right, it's to pay exactly Paul Keating. That's exactly what right. you were doing. You don't think it's their money. You have an idea... I like, absolutely think it's their money. Oh, well, but, but they can't important. use it. They're not entitled to use it at any time. In a crisis, they're not allowed to use their own money. To buy a house, they're not allowed to use their own money. No, this is the Labor Party's problem. Problem. You don't think it's their money. It's you absolutely the, their you money. You think the government is holding it on for their future. Uh, and compound is interest uh, dictates right. the return you get right. over time. Rip it out early, yeah. you wreck their Typical future. Typical Labor. Return. Typical Labor telling people how to spend it's their such own money. It's a good money. argument, mm. and it is Nothing's a good changed. argument. I've got a fair bit of soup in myself. Leave it to the people to make up their own mind. They, they, they're not stupid. If they think it's worth it, they'll do it. I'm sure they will. Um, well, Labor thinks they are stupid, uh, Andrew. Uh, That's Roger, the problem. Thank you both so much for your time. Thank you so much for your time.